Okay, so hey guys, welcome back to Edge 3D CGI and in this tutorial we're going to carry on with our house modeling series. So what we're going to go ahead and do next is we're going to go ahead and create the roof tiles. And it's going to be a very simple process and we're going to use some fairly simple techniques to go ahead and help us speed up this process. So the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and create one tile. So let's go ahead and create a cube. Okay, and let's go ahead and scale this around roughly to the right size that we need it. Okay, and I'm going to go into our top view, press F to frame in on our object. Okay, and I think that should be roughly the right size, maybe a little bit thinner. Now let's go ahead and start block, uh, blocking out the main shape. So let's go to our edit mesh panel. Let's go ahead and insert two edge loops. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the option box and go to multiple edge loops. Make sure that I have two selected. And add in two edge loops there. And let's go ahead and select these two vertices and go ahead and drag these out. So this is what's going to give us that roof tile shape. Let's go ahead and scale these further out a little bit maybe. Let's go ahead and add in one more loop or oh, probably two. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and drag these out as well. So now that we've got our basic roof tile shape, let's go ahead and add in the supporting edges for this. So let's go ahead and first of all, if you notice, when we go ahead and try to add in a supporting edge, okay, to this side it works perfectly fine, but when we go ahead and add one in here, that should work fine as well. Let's go ahead and add these in and see how this will go ahead and smooth because we might run into some issues. So let's go ahead and add these in. Whoops. Okay. But hopefully we're not going to run into any smoothing issues. If you do, you're going to have to go ahead and sort those out. So I'm just adding in the supporting edges. I'm going to go ahead and add one more in here just so our supporting edge don't slide all the way up. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing here. Okay, so let's go ahead and smooth this and see how it's looking. Okay, so that looks quite nice. Uh, let's go ahead and move these vertices out a little bit more. So I'm going to go back into my top view, select these vertices. Let's go ahead and move them down a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and scale them out like so. Maybe drag them out a little bit more just to give us a nicer rounder look. Okay, so I just switched back to my smooth mode. Okay, so that should do the trick. It's not the cleanest mesh, but it will work perfectly fine. So for our first tile, you can go ahead and add in more details. So you can go ahead and add in little ridges or make this tile more complicated because the more time you spend on this piece, the better the rest of them will look. So let's go ahead and for time's sake, we're just going to go ahead and use this guy. So once we created it, I'm going to go ahead and hold down V. And I'm going to go ahead and snap it roughly to the right position. So I'm just middle mouse buttoning and holding down V to go ahead and snap this up. Now once it's up there, I'm going to go ahead and rotate it and try to move it to the right position. As you can see, this is way too big for what I need. So I'm going to go ahead and scale this down. Maybe scale it this way as well. Okay, so that looks a lot better. I'm going to go into my front view. And now that I see that our little house is not perfectly on the top, we're going to go ahead and drag this down and make sure that I go ahead and drag this down as well. Okay, so let's get back to our roof tile. I'm going to turn on wireframe just so I can see easier what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and move this all the way up to the top. Okay, and hopefully this should be roughly the light, right position. I'll go ahead and move this to probably roughly around here. Maybe have them hang off a little bit like so. Okay, and make sure that we have the right angle. Okay, maybe drag it up a little bit more. Okay, so that looks pretty good. 
So once that we have our first position, all we need to really do is go ahead and duplicate this around. And not just to make sure that it doesn't look too uniform, we're going to go ahead and move or rotate them a little bit every time we go ahead and duplicate this. So let's go ahead and hit Control D. I'm going to go ahead and drag it to the side. Okay. And once it's at, it's at the right position, I'm just going to go ahead and hit E on my keyboard to rotate and rotate it a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate one more time and maybe rotate the different way. Okay. Just so our, just so our roof tiles don't look too uniform. Let's go ahead and do that one more time and just keep duplicating, rotate them a little bit. And we only really need to do this for one um, row. And after that, we're going to go ahead and use a different technique to go ahead and speed things up. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about it too much now. You can go ahead and spend a little bit more time positioning these. I'm just going to go ahead and quickly duplicate them around. But you should spend a little bit more time on rotating these a little bit nicer. So the more time, again, the more time you spend on this row, the nicer it will look for the other rows, because after this, we're going to go ahead and duplicate this row around. Okay, so I'm just going to carry on doing this. And just duplicating them around, just rotating it a little bit every time. Okay, so now that I get to this bit, I'm going to ignore it and I'm just going to carry on duplicating through it. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and skip that part and carry on duplicating around here. We could, in theory, just duplicate through this as well, just so we get this rim. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so again, I'm just rotating it a little bit. Duplicating, rotating, fairly simple stuff. And then once we get this row done, the rest of the rows are going to be really quick. Okay, so I'm nearly there. Just carry on duplicating, rotating, and hopefully you guys will spend a little bit more time on this to make it look nicer. All right, so I'm nearly there. A couple more. Pretty easy stuff. Oops, that one, that one. And probably one more should do the trick. I'll probably go ahead and add, or not add one more. I'm just going to go ahead and space these out. Just a tad. So that it will fit there perfectly. Okay, so one more. Maybe just one more. <laughs> Nearly there. Okay, there we go. So once we have our first row created, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and select all of these and group them together. So let's go into our outliner and select all of them. Group it together with Control G and just name it Roof Tiles Row 1. Okay, so once we have that, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and modify center pivot. And then let's go ahead and duplicate this, go into our front view. And let's go ahead and move them down one row. Okay, so I move them down one row, rotate them a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and do it one more time. And you might be thinking, well, this is not going to look good because they're all going to look uniform. Each row going to look exactly the same. We're going to go ahead and take care of that in just a second. So let's go ahead and just carry on duplicating these down. And then we're going to go ahead and change them up a little bit. Okay, so here's my last row. Okay, so that's great. As you can see, we got all our roof tiles. 
they all look a bit uniform because each uh, each row looks exactly the same. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and select the second row that we just duplicated through. And you can go ahead and select the whole group by selecting one object in the group and then press star power row and on your keyboard. And as you can see, it will go ahead and select the group. And what we're going to go ahead and do next is we're going to go ahead and scale this in the Z minus one to go ahead and flip this. So let's just go to our scale tool and then type in Z minus one. And as you can see, it will go ahead and flip this row. So we're going to go ahead and do that for every second row. And as you can see, that will go ahead and change these up a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and turn wireframe off and see how it's looking. Okay, so as you can see, they don't look as uniform now and they look pretty good for what we need. So let's go ahead and group all these guys together. And once we have that, we can simply go ahead and duplicate this as well. And then go ahead and scale X minus one to flip it to the other side. Okay. And now all we need to do is repeat this same process um, for this half of the house. Okay. And also that half. And for this top beam, we're just going to go ahead and add in the simple cube. Okay. Like so. Let's go ahead and scale this. Roughly this size. Okay, let's go ahead and drag this up, make sure that it's perfectly the right size. So I'm going to go ahead and have this hang out at the end a little bit. And same on the other side as well. Let's go ahead and move this piece down. Scale it down a bit more. Drag it down a bit more. Maybe drag it up actually. And I think I'm actually going to go ahead and snap this to be um, spot on with the end of that bit of our house here. And we could actually just extrude um, from our other bit of the house. But I'm just going to go ahead and do it this way. Okay, so now we just need to go ahead and add in the supporting loops for this. So I'm going to go ahead and isolate. Use my insert edge loop tool. Multiple edge loops and two. I'm going to add two in here and then scale them out. Okay, let's go ahead and add two more. On this half, again, scale them out. Now let's go ahead and add two more on this side so it doesn't stretch too much. Okay. Let's go ahead and add two more here as well that we've forgotten. And we should be pretty much finished. Okay, so that looks great. I'm going to unisolate. And I'll let you guys finish this side of the roof tiles in your own time. Okay, and I think for this piece actually, what I'm going to go ahead and do instead of this is that we're just going to go ahead and extrude this top half. Okay, so this is it for this part of the tutorial, guys. Most of the modeling is finished now, and then in the last part, we're going to go ahead and create the basic shaders for this simple cartoony house.